So we're going to add to this page that we're starting to create now. Um, and let me do a couple things here. Let me show you. So right now we have this right here. Um, we're actually, this purple here in the L, I'm going to find that color in Photoshop, that hex number, and then place it and change the green color around the guitar image. Um, that way these, this color scheme will kind of uh, be balanced. So uh, I'm going to go into Photoshop. Here's my uh, letter. I'm going to choose my um, dropper right here. So if you don't have it, it's the eyedropper tool right here. And I can drop on there. Let's say that right there. And there's the color right there. And if I click on it, it'll show me that hex number. And I can copy it, that exact color. And I'm going to place it as the background around my um, pick one. So here it is right here. Right now I have green. Now again, to use this, I need a number sign and then the, the number. So I saved it. And again, it's pick one. Change the background color right here. When I do that and I update it, there. Now they're basically, I grabbed this color right here. I could have grabbed the uh, darker purple just with my eyedropper and it kind of chosen kind of what color to choose, but there you go. So now we're gonna um, add to this and add below this paragraph. And um, a couple things we're gonna do here. Let's go in the HTML first. And here's my, here's my closing paragraph tag. And notice that I'm staying, I'm gonna stay inside uh, the container div, okay? So let me, let me see, text display, show fonts. Okay, it's 18, all right, that's good. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an HR tag, horizontal rule line. And I'm gonna mess with that later on and design it, have kind of a thicker one and uh, just kind of a break up the page a little bit between the top paragraph of the image and the four little sections we're gonna create. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a div called main, and it's gonna hold four little divs inside of it. So to do that, I'm gonna say div uh, ID equals main, and I'm gonna hit the return key a couple times and close it off. So again, I'm still inside. Here's the closing of the container. Now I can, I can put in comments, like this to kind of remind me. I do a lot of that in, in game design, okay? Uh, but I can go inside main now, I'm all set. And we're, we're gonna talk to main and make it so, so wide and then make the other ones so wide inside of it. So again, I'm gonna have a large box called main and then four little boxes, main one, two, three, and four inside of it. So to do that, I'm gonna, again, I'm inside main, div, ID, sorry, ID equals main one. And again, hit the return key. So I've created the box. Now I'm gonna fill the box with a couple things. It's gonna be an H3 tag. You can have any kind of you know heading tag you want. And I'm gonna say subheading here. And then close off that H3 tag. Hit the return key. Now I'm gonna do a paragraph of just Latin text to fill it up. Not a lot, just a little bit. So let me get everything ready to go here. Oops, sorry. There. Okay, so now I've got a paragraph tag all set to go. I'm just gonna grab some of this text right here. Not so much. And right there, okay? Now, I'm gonna, after I've done that, I'm gonna go Commands S to save. And I'm gonna highlight main one. So what I've done is I'm gonna highlight the whole div 
and I've noticed a mistake right here. I don't have an angle bracket right there. So now I'm going to highlight main one and everything in it, just like that. And I'm going to go Command C to copy. Now I'm going to stand. I'm going to stay inside of main. Okay, here's main, and here's the closing of main. I'm going to go up above right there, and I'm going to go Command V. And instead of main one, I'm going to call it main two. And I'm going to do the same thing. Here's the closing of main two right here. Okay. And again, I'm inside of the big one called main. I'm going to paste another one, call it main three. And then again, make one more. Command V, main four. So again, I have four little boxes inside of main. Now it's not going to look good because we haven't designed anything yet. So now I'm going to go in my um, coding in the CSS and design it. And let's do this. Since we're down here, here's the end of the container here. We're going to keep inside the container right here. Here's the end of it. And we're going to make a div called footer. Div um, ID equals footer. Okay? And that'll be at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to save it. We've got all of our HTML finished. Now I'm going to go up to the CSS. Here we go. And I'm going to start designing the stuff we just added. So the first thing we did was what, um, we, we, we did an HR tag, which is a horizontal rule line. And I'm going to design it a little differently than what we've done in the past. I'm going to give it a width of 100%. Now again, it's in the container. So it can only be as wide as what the container is. Okay, that's why I'm going with percentage. The height, I'm going to give it 20 pixels, 20 px. Oh, sorry, 20 px. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a background color. And you know you can go with any kind of color scheme you want. I'm going to go D O D. I have one. O A E. I think that'll work. Okay. And um, that's for the HR. Now I'm, I'm going to hit the return key. Again, I'm still inside the, the style tags. I'm going to talk to main. And that's the big box holding all the four little boxes inside of it. So number sign main because it's an ID name. Okay. And in between the curly brackets, we're going to create just do one thing with it. We're going to say width 100% because again, it's in the container. Container will actually keep it inside of and however wide the container is. That's how wide it can be. Now, I'm going to do uh, things for main one and main two and then just copy it. Actually, there's a better way to do it. I want to talk to all four at once. And even though they have separate names, I can. Uh, I can uh, tell the computer to do the same thing with all four. And how I do that is I'm going to say main one comma uh, number sign main two comma number sign main three comma and number sign main four and then the, the curly brackets. Whatever I put inside the curly brackets will um, pertain to all four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each a width of 23% of the 100% that the main is. Okay. I'm going to float each one left. Okay. It's extremely rare that you ever float anything right. You always float left. And whatever is first in the HTML will go first. Okay. The HTML, where it is in the HTML, will take precedence. So I'm going to float each one of those left. I'm going to color the text with a certain color that I've chosen. A to C. Okay. And then I'm going to give a little bit of empty space around each 
um, each little div. So you could probably do more than this. Again, you're dealing with, um, the reason I did 1% because it's padding on the left and the right. So that's added to the width. So this is 25%. Okay, here's 23%. And here's 1% added to that on the left and 1% added to the right. So it's 25%. So four of those is 100%. Okay, so if I wanna raise this number here, I've got to lower this number here, okay? Because it has to, it can only add up to 25%. So I'm gonna save it, and let's see how we did. I'm gonna, oh, let's do one more thing. I'm gonna talk to the footer. I'm gonna say number sign footer, and I'm gonna say with 100%, because again, it's inside the container. I'm gonna give it a height, of 30 px and then a background color and I'll just make something up uh, number sign 444 okay and that should be it so let's let's see how we did oh um, so the footer is coming up here and the reason is we have to add a line of code to make sure it's always down below. So let me um, do a couple things here. Let me talk to the footer and say clear colon both. Okay. And then also know that... Um, the p tag, because we're talking to the p tag up here, it's talking to the paragraph tags in each one of these divs. So it's making large paragraphs. So what we need to do is we need to just talk to the paragraph tag inside here. So we're going to do a little bit more here. I'm going to say, um, We can actually talk to the main, which is the large box holding main one, main two, main three, and four. We can talk to main and say, oh, P, right here, P, that's the paragraph tag we want to talk to inside of main only. And we're going to say color. Uh, again, you can change these colors. And we're going to say font size. 1.3 EM, and then you don't care about the font family, and text dash align justify. Okay, so that's all the P tags down there. Now, we also want to mess around with the first letter, so we're going to say number sign main uh, P colon first dash letter and we're going to make a large first letter of the paragraphs down there so we're going to float the first letter left we're going to give it a font size of 1.7 em we're going to give it a line height which is kind of empty space around it as 0.5. Um, we're going to get it a margin of 0.35 em for the top, 0.15 em for the right, and then 0 and 0 for the bottom and the left. And then we're going to color it, and I'll just kind of make some color up uh, for now, uh, 444. Or actually, this is the, let's say, uh, blue. That's for the first letter. Now, let's go ahead and um, save that.
and see what it's done. Okay. So there it is right there. Now I haven't talked the subheading. Let me do that really quick here. I'm going to go down here and I, I just want to talk to the, the subheading in main. So I'm going to say main um, h3, I believe that's what that is. And it's going to talk just the h3 in the main area. I'm going to say font dash size um, 1.5. EM and color um, green. Just again, you can change these colors. So let me let me update it and reload it. Oh, there. So that is pretty much what we had. Now, what I would do as a designer is that my idea was this would be more of a mission statement here. So you want less text. So let me get, let me get some of the text, uh, and I'm, you, know, you have to kind of figure out how much text space you need as a designer. But let me go up and go down, and I think it's right around here. Let me see. Yeah. So again, notice it's kind of about the same height as the image. You can kind of play around with it. But uh, here's what your page should look like somewhat. Now you can have better colors than, than I. Remember that this, this text won't be Latin text. It'll be uh, text that you'll find on the internet on your career field that you're exploring. Okay, so that is page one.